This is the first consultation for the Trinidad and Tobago delegation ahead of COP27, as they are expected to join 197 other countries to take action toward achieving the world's collective climate goals as agreed under the Paris Agreement and the Convention. Minister of Planning and Development, Penelope Beckles, said this country has an important role in assisting in being part of the solution by having a voice on a global platform on climate change issues. Small island states like Trinidad and Tobago are facing the brunt of the climate impacts and with the current levels of global warming, we are set to see an increase in global average temperatures of about 3 to 4 degrees Celsius by the end of the century. At this level of warming, life on Earth will be very, very challenging. Minister Beckles stated that as an energy-based economy, Trinidad and Tobago's transition may be challenging and will require bold and transformative thinking on a local and global level. For Trinidad and Tobago, the decisions to be taken at this COP must help us to further our own national implementation efforts to tackle the climate crisis. The last national budget outlined some of the initiatives this government is taking on climate change and related environmental hazards, such as increasing fines for illegal timbering as well as oil pollution. The promise of innovation and clean technologies, water and agriculture to the climate crisis, the role of science and biodiversity loss, energy transition, decarbonization efforts and finance are among the key focus areas to be addressed at COP27. The conference will be held from November 6th to 18th, 2022 in Egypt. Ayana Carter, TTT News.